guys. Welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, you know, Marcus just said a lot of people don't know who you are. Um, don't jump right into it. In case you're new to this channel or you're new to me, I opened the first raw food restaurant, Gourmet, in 1995 in San Francisco. After that, we opened another one in Santa Monica and then another one in Beverly Hills and then eventually my own in Pleasant Hill. That was mine. The other three I had to share with family members. Um, after that, veganism just started exploding as well as raw food. Um, back in 1995, I think there was three hole in the wall raw food restaurants and one gourmet restaurant, which was ours. Today, there are over 400 raw food restaurants in the world. So we're moving in the right direction. And with all that in mind, as I'm sailing through my 50s, I started to do something that a woman my age should do, one of the best things a woman my age can do for herself, and that is I started strength training. And with strength training, a lot of things have to be revamped. I wanted to share with you some breakfast ideas that I had to incorporate in my day. Uh, I work out four days a week. I work out at nine in the morning. So if I wanted to really lose weight, I wouldn't eat before I went to the gym. I wouldn't eat anything. I just go straight to the gym. And that's what I was doing in the beginning. And I was disappearing. I have ladies, if you want to lose weight, dear gosh, pick up strength training and Try and do it in the morning and don't eat before you go. I was never more thinner in my entire life. I went down to 110 pounds. I just wanted to see how low I could go. So anyways, I'm back up to 125. And it is because I really started amping up my food intake. So I've got three really delicious, nutritious um, breakfasts I would like to show you today. Every ingredient is absolutely healthy, nutritious, and it does your body good. It all has good effects on the body. So which one should I start out with first? Let's do, uh, let me just get the, this one out of the way. These are all fast and easy if you have a little pre-planning ahead. One of the healthiest, I've said this before, the healthiest food in the world by nutritionfacts.org. And according to my favorite doctor, Dr. Greger, Mr. Most humble man I've ever met. The most nutritious food in the world is flax seeds. And we all should be getting about two tablespoons of flax seed powder every day. You need to powderize it in a blender or a coffee grinder because your it'll just go right through your body and you won't be getting any of the benefits of the vital flax seed powder. So this is my first breakfast. <clears throat> Um, in the morning as I'm getting ready, I go and throw my uh, almond milk in the fr in the freezer and I'll shake it periodically because I want it ice, ice cold. Everything is better. Cold things are better ice cold. Look, so simple. Little fruit, some papaya. Ooh, I've fallen in love with plum. See how everything's dark, some of this, some raspberries. So I already ate my breakfast this morning. I do triple this amount of fruit um, on my pre-workout, my workout days. Then I sprinkle my flax powder. That's about two tablespoons. They say you're not supposed to do more than two and a half, three tablespoons per day. That's about two and a half tablespoons. And then got my ice cold almond milk. So this is just some iced nut milk that froze and I like it in there for texture. Throw some cinnamon in there. Cinnamon curbs the blood sugar. I sweeten the milk with a little bit of Marcus Sweet. Okay, so this is one delicious breakfast. It's kind of like a fruit salad, but with the, uh, with bran, it's, it's so tastes like bran, but um, with flex. Mm. Okay, breakfast number due. That's Italian for two. Okay, this tastes so much better than, I've been to Europe, I've been to a pastry shop in Europe. What I'm about to show you tastes 
better than any pastry shop in Europe, if you can believe it. So the ingredients for this is one ripe avocado. I'll take this and just mash it down really quick. And then I'm going to sweeten it. So um, you want to sweeten your avocado with something. You go ahead and use whatever you want. I'm going to use Marcus Sweet. It is the most natural sugar, uh, no aftertaste. Something like zero glycemic on the glycemic scale, whatever they say like that. Uh -huh. Vanilla flavoring, 100% pure. Okay. So we all know that it's like the flaky pastry cracker. It just shatters in your mouth, you know? It's a, it, it's a lovely texture. Um, you can easily create it with this, with a raw food version of it. This is just buckwheat and pineapple in the blender. You need a liquid, you need some sort of liquid to blend the buckwheat and rather than water, I used pineapple. Came out exquisite. You know, you could use any fruit, even vegetables. I was using carrot. And I still would put sweet stuff on top and it tasted great. But I wanted to try pineapple and it's got such a lovely little pineapple flavor. And now we're just gonna load this up with our fruit. And it is summer season, so I'm really loading up on, I really amped my fruit intake up because of that. Since it's in season. <clears throat> oh, and these bananas. The bananas just taste so good. The bananas actually really make it. Boop. So, if you made this and ate it, you would totally be like, oh my God, that girl was so true what she said about the European bakery. It's just like, oh. Mmm. Mmm. The cracker stays crunchy. Mmm, it stays crunchy for a long time. It'll be crunchy the entire time you're, you're eating it. It's so delicious. Uh, I mean, how could something so delicious be so good for you? Oh, and number three. Let's make the sauce first. Other than dealing with blenders and thisers and thatters, I... I really started to appreciate um, cashew butter. And I just take like a tablespoon of it now whenever I need something sweet or savory. And um, I want to sweeten it. So this is, I'm going to make a little sauce for my next breakfast. So a little uh, almond butter a little sweetener of your choice, some vanilla flavoring, and some water. And then let's just whisk that up. Mm. <laughs> I just love making food and creating good nutritious food. Okay, so um, this is a wrap. I, I discovered this when things were going bad. I remember when um, years ago when I lived alone, well, with my son, uh, things were going bad in the fridge. I would just take it all out and juice it. Well, when things uh, a few years ago, I'm like, wait a minute. Rather than juice it, why do we blend it and see what happens? So I started doing that um, and... You know, you can make some really cool crepes with it, with, with different ingredients like this. Um, this one is, I had some mangoes going bad, some tomatoes, and apricots. So this is what that is. And then I wanted to make it a little fancy by putting some black sesame seeds and some sliced pecans 
on top when it was dehydrating. Here's how I make the crepe real quick. Here's my fruit that's going bad. And so to not end up with a rubbery crepe, you want to add a nut or buckwheat flour. I'm making my own buckwheat flour here by putting sprouted buckwheat in the blender. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds. As I shake the motor, I'm holding the canister close to it. There we go. So I'm going to add all my fruit to the blender. And it's about four parts fruit to one and a half parts flour. It's about okay. I'm going to blend. Just pour it on a dehydrator sheet. And spread it in a nice thin, even layer. Chopped pecans and black sesame seeds. And then I'm just gonna pop it in the dehydrator until the top is a little dry for a couple hours, a few hours at 120 degrees until it's time to flip it and remove the bottom sheet, and then it's gonna go in for another six hours. Then you've got your crepe. So this is just like a breakfast burrito. I'm gonna put some nice, uh, mint is very good for digestion. So I'm gonna cover, the, the mint is gonna be the first thing I put. And I'm telling you, you think it wouldn't be good in it. It's so delicious. So this is a pre-workout breakfast. I have, this is a Persian cucumber. I love the Persian cucumbers. Um, they're very cleansing. It's good for your liver. I've got some kiwis. I, just, I put some dates in there, loaded with minerals. If you are trying to lose weight and you're super hungry, I guarantee eat one to two dates and you will be fine after that. Your hunger pains will go away. So I'm just doing, uh, oh, uh, this Okay, we got there. Three of those. And since it is pre-workout, it's so beautiful. And it's sweet. I have a beet. I always make sure I have beet before workout. It's uh, really energetic, energizing, and it really ups your stamina. So it gives you energy, ups your stamina, and it's nice and sweet. And then you just roll it up. And everything, everything from the wrapper to the sauce is nutritious. And then I like to dunk it on my sauce. Mm. It doesn't even feel like breakfast. Mm. It feels like dessert, but then American dessert is like breakfast. But, oh my God. It's so chewy, it's so crispy, it's so light, it's so healthy. It's so delicious. Mm. So there's three fast, easy, unique, delicious, and highly nutritious raw vegan breakfast recipes for you guys to play with. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you in the kitchen. That's where I like seeing you, in the kitchen. Take care, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.